It's been another busy week at thecentersquare.com where you can get the latest headlines, keeping you plugged in on what you need to know. I'm Greg Bishop, Associate Editor with The Center Square. This is Illinois in Focus Daily. Happy Friday. Again, next week, we'll be at the Republican National Convention to bring you some of the headlines, not just of what's going on with Illinois delegates, but you can also go to thecentersquare.com and uh, plug into other states across the country. Uh, but let's take a look at some of the headlines from this last week with thecentersquare.com. So uh, go to the, the, the page and you'll see, of course, uh, some of the latest headlines at the very top. Uh, Democrats blaming Republicans for Chicago crime. And that's crazy. If you missed the interview with John Cabello from earlier this week, yesterday, uh, you can find those at America's Talking Network, Illinois and Focus Daily, and uh, have that conversation with uh, uh, State Representative John Cabello uh, in response to Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson and even Governor J.B. Pritzker saying that the violence in Chicago is a result of Republican disinvestment in cities and Cabello and others pointing out that Republicans haven't been in control of Chicago or Cook County for decades. And the funding issues that Pritzker points to under the Rauner administration, the former administration of Republican Governor Bruce Rauner here in Illinois, uh, there was a two and a half year budget impasse. Blame who you want, but really it came down to the Illinois House never passed a budget. Uh, that uh, that could be signed, that was balanced. Uh, but regardless, you can go down that rabbit hole if you want. But the governor, Pritzker, pointing to Rauner, saying, hey, he defunded these programs for violence intervention and so on, but uh, saying that Republicans are the cause of this uh, is quote-unquote crazy and insane, uh, according to John Cabello. Uh, but they also, uh, if you read that story, you'll get the back and forth about non uh, violence intervention programs and whether or not uh, you've got... Um, uh, youth summer jobs, and are those dollars actually being spent appropriately? Uh, also, be sure to check out Illinois Quick Hits. Uh, those come out twice a day, and they're just quick little blips of things you need to know about, including the Stellantis Belvedere plant getting uh, hundreds of millions of dollars in grants to, to uh, help get that site going. Uh, and this is, of course, uh, as a result of uh, labor negotiations, uh, with Stellantis and the other large vehicle operators, and they're going to be opening up a plant in Belvedere here soon. Uh, some other numbers you need to know, of course, Illinois tax dollars, spending $53 plus billion in this fiscal year that started July 1st. A lot of tax revenue coming from gambling and also cannabis, uh, but gambling revenues from casinos compared to last year are up. However, they are down from the year before. And what's also interesting there is, uh, the Bally's Casino in Chicago is not performing nearly, nearly at the pace that it usually would. Uh, so you can read that story as well at thecentersquare.com. Uh, continuing on, and we're just kind of going back in time throughout this past week. Um, talked about uh, Governor Pritzker quite a bit this week. He's just been uh, peppered with questions about uh, President Joe Biden's fitness. Uh, but you've also got uh, you know questions about the child tax credit that's part of the budget here in the state of Illinois. And if you read that story, you'll find out. Uh, that, you know, hey, if you're under a certain income threshold, uh, if you have children, you're going to get a, a child tax credit, uh, $300 of a child tax credit uh, up to uh, some if you only have one child, maybe like 175 or something. And while Democrats are saying this is going to be beneficial for working families, you've got a report from Kiplinger uh, saying that Illinois is among the worst states in the country uh, when it comes to working families. So let's go and check out that story here because uh, it's important to delve into these uh, these headlines a bit further, uh, especially when it comes to looking at uh, these reports. Uh, so go check out the story. Uh, Pritzker touts child tax credit as Illinois among the worst for working class families. Uh, and you uh, go and check out the uh, Kiplinger report where um, it uh, lays out some of the things about Illinois uh, in particular uh, and uh, just how well it's doing for working class families. Uh, so let's go check out this article here from Kiplinger uh, where um, it, it goes through the 10 least tax friendly states for middle class families and search Illinois. So Illinois, uh, median household income, uh, $76,708. 12% um, of income spent on taxes. Uh, wow, 12% of income spent on taxes. While Illinois is a state that doesn't tax retirement income, 
you're out of luck if you're still working. Average income taxes for the middle class reach nearly $5,000 and property tax bills um, in the Prairie States are uh, on the high end too. We're among the uh, highest property taxes in the country. Uh, to make matters worse, Illinois is one of only 13 states that taxes groceries. Now, the grocery tax is going to come to an end at some point, but not for this fiscal year. Uh, that's actually going to come to an end, I believe, in 2026. I'll have to double check those numbers, but uh, go and check that story out. Uh, again, at thecentersquare.com, people asking questions. You know, while the, the tax credit may be beneficial, uh, we still pay among the highest taxes in the state, uh, in the country. Uh, jobs, tax rebates, fuel Northwest Illinois real estate markets, the Rockford area. Those of you living in Rockford, uh, I'd love to hear from you. You can email me, bishoponair uh, at gmail.com. Uh, find me anywhere. Just search Twitter, X, Facebook, and so on. Uh, you can message me that way. But if you're in the Rockford area, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that story because uh, some real estate experts saying that with uh, the Belvedere plant, for instance, uh, and uh, yeah, hospitals in that area, uh, the, there's been a boom in that in the northwest part of the state. Uh, continuing on with uh, other things you can find at thecentersquare.com. We talked about the health insurance law that Governor Pritzker signed earlier this week. Uh, the November ballot issue, uh, this is, could pop today, by the way. The Illinois Supreme Court could make a decision about whether or not candidates that didn't run in the primary can get on the November ballot. If you recall, Governor Pritzker enacted a hastily passed law that says if somebody didn't run in the March primary, they can't be on the November ballot for a major party through slating. Well, it's slating has been happening in the state of Illinois for decades. Um, whether or not you like it, uh, changing the rules midstream, that was the question that was posed to a lower court in Sangamon County, and they blocked that law. Uh, and now it's up in front of the Illinois Supreme Court. So we could find out uh, very soon if the Illinois Supreme Court uh, is going to either um, reverse that lower court decision and agree to hear the case or keep that lower court decision in place and then hear the case later. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. More tax revenues, a uh, billion dollars in sales for cannabis in the state of Illinois, uh, and a lot of that money going to nonprofits across the state. 25% of every dollar of cannabis taxes the state brings in goes to um, communities in uh, that have been impacted by the, uh, the, the, the war on drugs, uh, so to speak. So uh, interesting to see the breakdown of how those dollars are used. Also, uh, just all of the different headlines you can get at thecentersquare.com. I want you to go check those out, all right? Especially if you're a farmer um, and the pesticide dilemma that uh, people are having to, to talk about and, and handle. Uh, so clearly, uh, there's plenty going on uh, for you to, uh, to, to read up on, share with your friends, keep plugged in, and wake up with us each and every weekday morning with Illinois In Focus Daily. I'm Greg Bishop. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell with America's Talking Network. Network because we are going to be broadcasting from the Republican National Convention each and every morning, uh, reviewing the things that happened the day before. So very much looking forward to being uh, there to, to bring you the latest. And of course, we'll do what we can uh, to uh, to keep you updated with uh, Illinois and Focus Daily each and every weekday morning. I'm Greg Bishop. Follow me anywhere. Just search Bishop on air and we can connect that way. And uh, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and subscribe to thecentersquare.com for the regular newsletter. Subscribe to Illinois in Focus anywhere you get your podcasts. And we'll see you back here Monday morning.